Alléluia. Can you make a joyful noise to Jesus? Alléluia. Alléluia. Emmanuel. Good morning and win today. Amen. Win tomorrow. Amen. Win forever. Amen. Because of Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You may have your seat. Hallelujah. Tell someone next to you and that someone next to you to tell the person next to that person. That you have made a wisest decision <laughs> to be found in the house of God <laughs> this very night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Because you are a free moral agent. You, you, you are a human being. God has given you a freedom of choice. Amen. You can choose whether to be in the house of God or whether to be in a beer hall. Or to be in your house, just playing your radios to yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. But you said, no. The decision that I have is to go to the house of God. Mm. That is a wisest decision that you have made today. And I tell you, this decision will lead you to 2024 up to the end of 2024. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm, I want to take an opportunity and share a small portion of the word that God has given to me before we get to declarations. Hallelujah. Mm. 2023, it was a year to some, a year that was full of challenges, full of hardships trials of many kinds mm. for you to be alive now is not by mighty nor by power but it is by the grace of God mm. so you know your life has been shaken in different ways Satan has tried all means to shake you to bring you down but he said no not me I know who I am. I am a child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I say let there be calmness in your life. Amen. Let there be calmness in your life. Amen. Let there be calmness in your marriage. Amen. Let there be calmness in your business. Amen. Let there be calmness in your career. Amen. Calmness in your marriage. Amen. Hallelujah. This is our message title. Let there be calmness. Mark chapter 4, 35. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Let us go over to 2024. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swept. Jesus was in the steam, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. It was complete what? Calm. I can't hear you. Calm. Again and again. Calm. Verse 40. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Hallelujah. Let there be calmness. Amen. I say let there be calmness. Amen. I use my Bible 
and I lift it up as a staff in the hands of Moses to come every storm in your life. Amen. I say let there be calmness in your marriage. Amen. Calmness in your family. Amen. Calmness in your career. Amen. In 2024, Amen. there shall be calmness. Amen. The Bible says, Jesus said, let us cross over to the other side. As they were sealing to that side, the Bible says, they rose a furious storm. A furious storm. It almost swept away the boat. And the Bible says, they began to cry. And they were shaken. I don't know what has been happening to you in 2023. Your boat of your life was shaken in every direction. There were waves that were trying to make sure that your boat overturns and sink in the sea. But here you are, you are still standing today. I say here you are, you are still standing today. That means whatever situation is going to come this year, 2024, it's not going to swallow you. You are not going to be overtaken. The Bible says Jesus was sleeping. I like that. He was sleeping. Others are busy trying to control the boat. Hey, we are dying. We are perishing. We will die. And Jesus was not worried at all. Imagine if you invite Jesus in the body of your life, in the journey of your life in 2024. Make a wisest decision. If you are here, you are not a Christian. You don't have Jesus in your life. Or 2023, you've been worshiping God in such a way that was not pleasing to him. Make a wisest decision this year to worship God with all your heart. Each year is its own enormous challenges. I mean, every year there are challenges which come against every human being. Whether you are a believer or you are not a believer, there are challenges that rise for everyone. But my question is, your own challenges, are you going to stand them? Are you going to withstand them? Are you going to overcome them? Or they are going to swallow you? Remember with Jesus, all things are possible. Those who walk with Jesus, they are on the winning side. Ask your neighbor, are you with Jesus in your life? Are you with Jesus in the body of your life? In the body of your marriage? Is there Jesus there? If there's no Jesus in the body of your marriage, that means when this wave rise, when these squalls begin to hit your body of your marriage, marriage will crumble. Your business will fail. Your career will fail. Many of us here, the waves of Satan were coming so furious against us. Some of us here, we woke up in the coma for about four to five days or a week or a month you were in a coma. You almost lost it. Others survived a terrible accident. You came out of a fatal accident. And here you are, no bruises, no what. You are alive and strong. Some of us here were poisoned. And the poison did not kill us. You are here. There were many strategies of the enemy to overthrow your life. But here you are. That shows you that if you hold on to this Jesus faithfully, obediently and with all humility he is capable to do more than what he did for you in 2023. Amen. All these challenges that were coming in your life they were the test of faith. I said they were the test of your faith. Amen. If you are a strong believer you must be tested. Amen. All these people who were talking rubbish about you they were tested. To mature you spiritually. Amen. You cannot grow spiritually when you are not shaken. 
Satan must come and punch you, poke you. Try all means to shake you, to bring you down. But if you continue standing, I tell you, the harvest is big. Victory is not for, the, for those who give up. Victory is not for those who are lazy. Victory is not for those who are cowards. Victory is for those who are determined to see Jesus' hand working in their lives spiritually and both physically. I prophesy to you this year that whatever terrible storms that rose against you this year, they will not follow you to 2024. Whatever challenge you had in 2023, you will not cross over with that challenge. I say you shall not cross over with that challenge. You will not cross over with that challenge. Jesus will not permit that. I thank God that you made the wisest decision to be here. And by so doing, I tell you, something powerful is about to happen in your life. If last year Satan denied you to enter an aeroplane, this year, yeah. ha, if he denied you of waiting this year, yeah. if he denied you of employment this year, yeah. ah, I prophesy you, yeah. if they denied your promotion this year, yeah. as we cross over to 2024, you are not crossing over with your disappointment. You are not crossing over with your setback. You are not crossing over with your poverty. Never you are not crossing over with your enemies. You are crossing over with Jesus. Those who cross over with Jesus, they are crossing over with promotion, marriage, breakthrough, financial breakthrough, house breakthrough, career breakthrough. Are you here? Amen. This is a message that I was given in the mountain where I was there for, for, for four days to five days. Praying for you people and also praying for myself and praying for the whole world. Yes. This is the message that the Holy Spirit gave me. Go and speak calmness to your people. You are here, I know. There are challenges in your life. Yeah. And they are undeniable. They are there. Yeah. But Jesus has come into my life to come and prophesy to you yeah. that 2024 you are going to move in calmness. Yeah. When Satan comes in to try you, that, just tell him, be calm. When a problem rises against your marriage, I say, be calm. Amen. When they rise against you, it's way to say, be calm. Amen. You will see the hand of God. Amen. Oh my God.